name is Dr. Bart Flick. I'm an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in wound care with a great deal of interest in research in electromagnetics. I've been in practice for about 35 years. My interest in electromagnetics was initially started in medical school when I worked with a gentleman named Dr. Robert Becker. Information now is doubling every three to four months. Before it took eons to make basic evolutionary changes, now we're making changes in our understanding in a very short period of time because technology is moving so rapidly. To keep pace with the rapid movement of technology, it's very important that we understand the uh, concept that we need to bring areas of engineering into areas of medicine and also bring areas of medicine into engineering and bring these two fields together so we can follow the fundamental concept of copying nature. We have only started to look at the electromagnetics of sleep that started with the first EEG machine in the 1920s. This had advanced significantly. As we understand the electrodynamics of sleep, we are better able to reproduce those electrodynamics in order to create a balance of, for the central nervous system when it's out of balance and not achieving uh, the right amount of sleep. Our current means of treating sleep disorders is primarily based upon a molecular model spearheaded by the pharmaceutical models that are present. We do have the tools available to us today through the EEG pattern and understanding the electromagnetic patterns of sleep that we can reproduce that, but not reproduce it in a way that's abnormal, reproduce it in a way that's very biological. For example, if we use the right field strength, if we use the right pattern, we can allow the brain to go through a normal sleep cycle. There are two principal devices that apply electromagnetics to sleep that are on the commercial market today. One uses an electric field between two pads that are placed on the body, usually on the ears or the temples or parts of the head. The second uses a magnetic field. Of course, the magnetic field is more natural because it copies the Earth's magnetic field patterns, but the devices that are used today have very, very high energetic fields. It's almost as if the engineers didn't consult with the biologists and don't understand the fundamental processes in which the brain uses. On the other side, we have uh, pad devices that are put on the body. They use very fixed, rigid frequencies that don't copy the body's normal frequency patterns. If we're able to create a device that uses a magnetic field, so we have a uniform distribution in the brain of the energy pattern, that uses a very weak energy field, weaker than the Earth's magnetic field, and follows a pattern, a frequency pattern, that the brain normally produces, I'll play this back to the brain, the brain will entrain to this, will, will gradually bring it down slowly to a delta sleep pattern, and then turn off the, if the brain wakes up, they can, they can reactivate this device to bring them back down into a delta pattern. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice if we had a device that didn't have wires, they used normal physiologic magnetic fields, they used normal patterns that the brain goes through as it falls into sleep, that creates the perfect balance for the brain to bring it back into a normal sleep cycle? Well, we have one. It's called the Somni Resonance SR1. And that was designed with all the fundamental concepts of copying nature, the concept of having something simple to use, something that doesn't have any wires, that brings the body down very naturally through the concepts of entrainment and the concepts of resonance. We have that device today. And one more thing, the device is affordable and has no side effects.